Alrighty. I'm only going to have seconds here to get Venus, so... I'm trying to line my eye up with the lens and it's in the trees. Already, so it's um let me see, it's 8 35 p.m. now. I'm out here about the same time as last night, and I had a bit more time then. But there it is being taken out. Duck on it. Well, at least we've got a few frames of it. And there we can see it blinking through the trees. <laughs> wow. That was something. Boy, you talk about timing, huh? All right, well, <laughs> that's all we're going to get her. So she dipped down below. She's going to bed over in the southwest. And also in the southwest, we have the big guy Jupiter up there. Okay, there I moved us a bit so we can see. I don't have much of a vantage point here for poor Venus, but that's all I can get with uh, both of them in the same shot. So Venus down there in the V section between the house and the tree. And in the middle of the screen is Jupiter. From this angle, I can't get uh, Saturn. I don't think. Actually, let me look. I don't want to make a mistake and <clears throat> get lost in the sky again like last night. Okay. So that is Antares over there. I can tell by the way they're, both of them are blinking. <laughs> it is not Saturn. Saturn's over on the other side of the tree. All right, what's that? Just a slow moving plane, I guess. So Jupiter's down in the lower right. And that. It's an aircraft. All right, let's go up to the big guy. See what he's up to. So tonight we're only gonna see three of the moons around Jupiter. Io appears to be on the back side. And I think Callisto is uh, heading up the rear. And the other two out in the lead. And so let's go take a look at the big guy here. I can barely make out the bands, but they're there. I sure hope I'll be able to get better shots of uh, Jupiter, well, on all the planets, with the uh, Nikon P1000. And hopefully it'd be much easier to focus now that they'll have a dedicated focus ring on it. Let's hope. All right, so there's that one. Two down. <laughs> okay, as Venus heads in for the night, and this is pretty much where I was standing last night when I thought that flickering star on the right side of the tree was uh, Saturn, but that is Antares. I think it's the brightest star in Scorpio. Scorpius, whatever. <clears throat> anyway, Venus is supposed to be in Virgo, Jupiter in Libra. 
And of course to the left of Jupiter is uh, Antares, so that'd be Scorpius. Up above those guys, which we can't see, we'll be able to get them in the pictures, would be, <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I call it Ophicus. You know, that new uh, 13th constellation. Anyway, okay, so Mars is down there in the trees and Saturn is to the left of the willow tree from this angle, but we're going to get a better view. As I touch you all around my backyard. My goodness. Okay. Now, whew, with this view, Okay, Venus is gone for the night, and we have Jupiter now looking low from this angle for where we're at in the southwest. And to the right of the willow tree over there is Saturn. Let's go take a look at her, him, her, whatever. Now again tonight, I don't know if the video will pick it up, it normally doesn't, but tighten this off to the, oh... 10 o'clock position of Saturn and unlike Jupiter we can't get the a flicker of light from the other moons that are orbiting around it. Alrighty, there we go. It's such a cool planet to catch. Looks like it's just drifting up there. <laughs> Folks that have a telescope, they get such incredible images of uh, these planets. I think they do a lot of stacking too with all their images. I don't know. I've tried stacking with uh, video footage that I've gotten from this camera, but it's been shit. <laughs> Maybe I'll have better luck with the P-1000 once it gets here. Sure hope. And we're all the way 10x zoomed in and uh, of course it looks slower going across the monitor than it does when you're really zoomed in than with a more powerful lens than this. Damn cool planet. All right. And we're off to hunt for Mars. So you know what that means? We're heading up to the rocks. <laughs> Alrighty. Whew. There we go. Mars on the rocks. Okay, for the longest time, over the summer, I had tree issues getting Mars, but... And I still would if I was over on the other side of the tree. Maybe I'll go over there for a shot. But coming to the right, even though it's in the southeast, we can still get a glimpse of it. Now I do miss the moon, doggone it. It's been rising later each night, you know, about an hour later each night. So tonight, I have no idea what all that banging is. It's been going on for hours now. Um, it kind of sounds like fireworks, but I think it was, uh, I was hearing it around 5 p.m., so I would highly doubt it was. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, about the moon. It rises about an hour later each day. So tonight for me, it'll be about 70%, and we'll be above the horizon about 11 p.m., which means about midnight for it to clear the trees. Doggone it. So anyway, we're going to call this a quick night. Last night was way too long. Nine and a half hours from 
filming and reviewing, editing, and then uploading. Oh my goodness, that was a long night with one loo break. <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, even though Saturn and Mars are still rising, we're putting them to bed. <laughs> anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a safe one too. And please don't stand in doorways and film storms, especially electrical ones. And you know who I'm referring to. <clears throat> Be safe, everyone. Good night now. On this Friday, last day of August, 2018. It's now 8.58 p.m. Night.